What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for part 51 for the German Grand Prix. If you're new around here, make sure to like and subscribe for weekly F1 content. Now into this weekend, there's rain predicted for the race and it didn't go too well for us last time out in Germany. So here is the grid for the 2021 German Grand Prix and we will speak about this after so this is the grid for the German Grand Prix it's pole position for Charles Leclerc with Lewis Hamilton P2 P3 is Max Verstappen and P4 is George Russell it's an all Red Bull row with Carlos Sainz ahead of Pierre Gasly P5 and P6 P7 and P8 are Devon Butler and Nico Hulkenberg. Lando Norris and Sergio Perez round out the top 10. Kevin Magnussen and Sebastian Vettel with a 10 place grid penalty are on the next row. Then it is Antonio Giovinazzi and Valtteri Bottas. Then come Grosjean and Alexander Albon in the Toro Rosso. Brown is P17 after a ball qualifying, Lucas Weber P18. And on the final row of the grid is Daniel Ricciardo and Lance Stroll. This is the grid then, and this is the German Grand Prix as the five red lights come on here. In Germany, it's lights out, and away we go, everyone getting away well. It's a good start there by Max Verstappen. In the background, we've got a good start. We're going to try and go to the outside and swoop around the outside. We go wide as we nearly make contact there and now we're side by side with McLaren heading down towards turn two then we're over on the outside and trying to go round the outside there we've gained all this contact there with the Alfa Romeo and now we are pushing to try and get try and gain some positions we've gained quite a few on the opening lap but I think I did have to give a couple back from going wide they're free abreast up top and as we head into the hairpin for the first time we're going to go for a good old dive bomb down the inside now heading up towards the Mercedes grandstand we have actually got past that alpha and now we're going to send it again down the inside of the other McLaren and now we are up into we are now in P9 we started P17 so that's a great start from us and now we're skipping on to lap two and it is Nico Hockenberg trying to get past us. Skipping on now onto the back straight and here he comes again. There's battling going on up ahead. But we are sadly having to look behind us yet again, just like Silverstone. We defend the McLaren of Hockenberg around the outside of Norris rather, sorry. And now this is happening a little bit further up. This is our teammate. And he is lost out to the Red Bull there and and now we'll be left battling Nico Hulkenberg in the McLaren. Obviously that is Hulkenberg in the McLaren. And this kind of these were battling that hard that we kind of managed to get onto the back of them and then we started battling. Here comes Lando tried to go, sorry, Hulkenberg tried to go down the inside. That was very, very risky. And these were battling so much that it just kind of allowed us to close up and we are going to sail around the outside of Devon Butler and get that job done very 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 quickly there and now we can look to other places this is Nico Hulkenberg getting past our teammate George Russell and this is us going for it on George Russell trying to go the long way around all the way around the outside the three abreast behind you may have seen there and now we have got past George Russell and now we can set our eyes firmly on Nico Hulkenberg on lap 4 of this German Grand Prix. Skipping on to lap 5 now, one lap later we're going to go for it on Nico Hulkenberg as I think George Russell kind of more thought about getting past us there. We've gone wide, kind of going wide at the hairpin allows you to get a much better traction. So I spent most of the race trying that out. And we have got past Nico Hulkenberg there, which is always good. And now hopefully we can get our head down. I skip it on to lap six now. This is Lance Stroll in the racing point. Pulling over and out 
of the German Grand Prix. It's been a poor run of races for him, hasn't it? He had a poor race in Silverstone, and that has brought out the safety car. And that has just thrown a massive spanner in the works. This is what happened. It doesn't sound healthy at all for Lance Stroll, but money can't buy you a good car, but it can buy you an F1 seat. On lap six now, though, <laughs> here we go. Everyone bunching up behind the safety car, no one pitting. We started on the mediums because I was thinking if this rain was to come, then we could be sitting very pretty. But everyone kind of in the top 10 was on the softs and they didn't pit. So, which is very odd, I found very, very, very odd because some, for some reason, at least in my eyes. The AI kind of, if the safety car comes out early, they decide just to stay out and then the second the safety car comes in, then put. That's how it kind of looks in my eyes. This is on to lap 8. The safety car is going to be coming in at the end of this lap. Lewis Hamilton will be leading them round. From the two Ferraris, it's technically a Mercedes went two for a second there. So it's Mercedes. Ferrari, Red Bull, Ferrari and Lewis going very 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 slow here as we get ready to do the restart and coming into the final corner now the second to last corner rather and Hamilton has bolted and this German Grand Prix is back underway as we go on to lap 9 and now these guys all on the softs have to push like mental there is quite a few on the mediums I've noticed now but some of them are on the softs and there like Nico Hulkenberg he was on the softs and now that this has really caught him out because he decided to stay out here as this is Max Verstappen going for a move on the lead for Lew on Lewis Hamilton we get past um, and defend George Russell there and George Russell's now is left defending Devon Butler in the Renault and now skipping on to lap 11 so quite a few laps after and now here comes George Russell trying to re-overtake us now and this is us sorry rather we have absolutely sent it on George Russell and got the job done there. I don't think George Russell was really expecting that. But we've got the job done. And now hopefully we can kind of concentrate on those in front of us. As on to lap 13 now. This is George Russell. Kind of starting to go backwards in this race. We've pulled away. He loses out to Butler. And now he's going to lose out to both Alphas. He's already lost out to one. And now he's left defending the other one as we go down the back straight here. And George Russell here is very, very close to dropping like a stone in this race. And he has. Both Alphas have got him now. The racing point of Perez has got him. And now around the outside maybe Lando Norris could overtake him as well. As we head up through the kink and towards the Mercedes grandstand. Lando Norris is going to go down the inside of George Russell. They're side by side. Lando's going to have to go the long way round. And he gets the job done there. And George Russell has lost what? Four, mate, five positions. Now on to lap 16. Vettel thinks about it down the inside into turn one. Thinks better of it. We make a mistake. And now we're left defending Sebastian Vettel. He managed to kind of pick up the pace here and it's caught the back of us now and hopefully we can defend Sebastian Vettel here as we head down the straight he's pulled out to our inside he's got the job done on us there and now we're kind of gonna have to wait we can't kind of go to the dive bomb we're too far back and our Valtteri Bottas is gonna be all over the back of us as we go on to lap 17 the rain I can now tell you is coming down the rain has started 
so the track is starting to get wetter and wetter every single lap it is raining and now we can battle down the inside we go we try to re-overtake Valtteri Bottas there Vettel's gone up, up the road and Bottas gets the job done on us slightly annoying as we head through the kink and now towards where Vettel crashed he's not going to crash there meanwhile as we have to defend Devon Butler as now into the final sector then I've got to be honest when I was recording this I did have flashbacks from last season if you were around on the channel then you'll know what I mean on to lap 18 now and the AI are making their first the kind of one and only stop of the race the track is getting wetter so the rain started around lap 16 these guys are pitting for their one and only stop onto the hard the strategy we were going to do but they're going to come out of the pits now I don't, I don't know why the AI do this they, they need to fix it for F1 2020 the track is so wet I was literally driving perhaps not now but in a couple of laps time it was like driving on ice I had been on these tyres I'm still on the mediums at this point and um, I've been on these tyres since the open laps of 18 laps so the rubber was starting to go and then the track conditions as well were struggling as out of the race goes Lewis Hamilton the former race leader literally a couple of laps ago and his engine's gone and the Mercedes is some, something's wrong with it it's gone bang on him and he is out of the German Grand Prix after just making his pit stop into the pits comes factory Bottas and the other drivers this is literally basically everyone now is trundling down the pit lane goes factory Bottas he is going to go into the set of the medium of the hard driver and he's actually going to get held up there and lose out to Sergio Perez on to lap 20 now Carlos Sainz has caught the back of us we were actually leading the race and we are struggling so much we're all over the place and on to lap 21 here comes Carlos Sainz our tyres have a, are just dead they're gone they have hit the cliff the tyres the track is absolutely dripping it's like a swimming pool now so I did decide in a couple of laps this so Carlos Sainz got past us and now we make another mistake because I was struggling so much for the tyres through goes Max Verstappen and this is going to be the lap that I decided it was wet enough to come into the pits and put on the intermediate so we're on lap 22 going on 23 12 laps or well 11 laps from the end of the Grand Prix we are going to come in we're going to put on the Inters and we're going to catch people napping hopefully onto the Inters we go it was literally those last couple of laps it was like driving on ice the rubber the tyres gone so had the, and the tracks getting wetter every lap it was crucial that we beat out Giovinazzi, sadly we didn't so now we're going to have to try and re-overtake him but this is something, just watch this I'm not even going to have to commentate on this this is how much the dry tyres were struggling we breezed past Antonio Giovinazzi like he wasn't even there he just kind of just on the end of lap 23 now everyone had kind of got the same idea as me obviously one lap later so they and starting with Carlos Sainz are going to come on to the Inters as well and this is where you're going to see absolute chaos there is Max Verstappen and this is when everyone decides to pit 
everyone, I mean everyone, that, that's us going through on our inters, so we gained a lot of positions. We lost a little bit of time as well from Antonio, Antonio Giovinazzi, but this is literally everyone into the pits. You can see here, everyone coming in. Antonio Giovinazzi so is actually ahead of our teammate there, out of the pits, that's Roman Grosjean. And now this last 10 laps are going to be absolutely mega. At the same time as we were watching everyone trundle at the pits, we came out side by side with Max Verstappen. Um, as Max Verstappen came out of the pits, we kind of went round turn one, so we just beat him out. We fended him off for now, but we all know what the AI are like this year in the wet. So he just literally breezed past me like I weren't even there like I was driving the actual Williams 2019 and not this upgraded one. Skipping onto that 39, you see how much the track has deteriorated over the last couple of laps. We make a mistake and now we're left defending. Sebastian Vettel is trying to go round the outside of us there. We defend him off. This is the battle for P3, a legit P3. At the end of the final lap, this is Carlos Sainz, he has dominated this race ever since Lewis Hamilton retired. He's going to round the final corner and he is going to win the German Grand Prix. It's going to be Max Verstappen who comes home for P2 and we from P17 on the grid are going to come home for P3 and that feels like a win. Pulling out all the stops today. What a great win. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? It's a heroic effort for any drivers to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and have the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. So that has been your 2021 German Grand Prix and wow what a race it turned out to be in the end. We get our first podium since our win at the Monaco Grand Prix. You can work out the rounds, I'm not, I'm just going to enjoy this result. Hopefully it's of what is more to come, hopefully, I'll have to wait and see. This is the constructors then you just saw the drivers um but that is a beautiful result that literally it like i said a minute ago it feels like a win it's been so long since we've had a good result like that especially after silverstone it was so frustrating we have a couple of upgrades one failed so we're going to redo that and that is going to be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here and for weekly F1 content and I'll see you in the next one.